Bailey's chocolate pudding shots. That's what we're making. Something for afternoon tea, shall we say, because it's five o'clock somewhere, everywhere. So, one cup of milk. This should be nice. Nothing like a bit of moo juice. And we're not talking about nut juice. We're talking real moo juice here. Half a cup of Baileys. Now keep in mind that you can use your own judgment on the measures when we're talking about no, this. No, you can't when you're using pudding mix. You have to be the right amount of liquid. If you're going to put in more booze, take out some milk. Half a cup of Baileys. If you're worried about measuring half a cup, then combine the two to make one cup worth. Yep. And you're right. Half a cup of vodka. I'm liking this recipe already. <laughs> now. Add ice cream and chocolate topping, you've got yourself a milkshake. That's the one. Now what we have here is instant packet of pudding mix. There's now the already. recipe did suggest chocolate pudding mix. It did, but then it would, the chocolate pudding mix probably is okay, but then it won't be the Bailey's colour, will it? It'll be chocolate colour. Yes, everyone, I am going to have to clean the counter after he's cooked. <laughs> and now it's whisk to combine it all. Oh, what we need is smell a vision. <laughs> Now, it's whisk it all together, and then so, and then it says whisk for another two minutes. So that means it should be starting to get hard. Oh, I like the smell of that. Wow. So what, do you, what can you smell? Is it the vanilla smell? Or the uh, vanilla and Bailey's is predominantly what you're smelling here. Oh, I mean, vodka doesn't have a smell of such anyway. But the colour looks right for that recipe. Yes. I think I think chocolate pudding would have... Killed the taste of the Bailey's. I think, I think so. Pointless. I think so. I think that'll do it. Now it says in here, spoon it into the cups. Well, I can't see that happening. glass is his. Still plenty. Just Why does it look lumpy? That's weird. I have no idea. Because it doesn't look lumpy in the glass. No. Oh, no, you missed your glass. Oh, ho, ho. <coughs> I'm going to have me some of that. <laughs> You're not going to wait for it to set? No, I'm just going to drink it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not bad. But we are going to put it in the fridge for a while and then show you how we're going to decorate it before we have it. Oh, yep. I think that's a good idea. How long for? For it's setting? Oh, I know. 
And you bought some too, didn't yeah, you? I did. Good. Uh, how long does it take to set? Um, about 30 minutes. Chill perfect. until set. About 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. So by the time this is done and set, we should be able to have some bread and then have some dessert. <laughs> <laughs> because we deserve it. Now, these have been sitting in the fridge for about a half an hour, okay? So, we're topping it off with even more delectable stuff. And a bit of dark chocolate for garnish. Now, is this just the best or what? But, proof of the pudding. Oh, oh. Why haven't we made this before? <laughs> Forget that. We're making this again. Oh. Yum. Oh. If you don't make this at home, you're nuts. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.